I've got caller ID here, but I'm not sure who you are. I've got requested for, and it looks like we know the same person. It sounds like they need a scripted relationship. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Did You Know, the show where we highlight tips and tricks to make you a better ServiceNow developer. Today, ServiceNow MVP Mohit Kashik is walking us through how to use scripted relationships. So let's take a look. Hello, everyone. Myself, Mohit Kashik, your friendly neighborhood ServiceNow MVP. Today, we will discuss on a specific type of related lists. For a recap, a related list displays the records from another table that are linked to the current record on a form. They do appear at the bottom of the form. For example, you have a change request form. Once you open it, you see the related change tasks at the bottom of the form. That is your related list. Let's understand a little complex one. You need to create a related list on a particular form where there is no direct relationship between the two tables. For example, you want to display the requests created by same caller on an incident form. Now, the incident and the request form, they do not directly connect with each other, but we have a common field. So on an incident, we have a caller ID, which is a reference to user table. And on a request form, we have a requested for field, which is again a reference to user table. Now with the help of this reference, we create a scripted relationship. So we have our navigator. We have typed relationship over here. We click on relationships under system definition. Let's click on new. Okay. Let's give it a name. Let's select the table on which we want to apply this related list. So in that case, it will be an incident. And there is another field called queries from table, the table from where you want to query the data. In that case, it will be a request. Now we have a field called query with that's a script section where you need to write your script condition. How do you want to create this relationship in between these two tables? So that's quite easy. All we need to do is current dot add query and let's pick the fields with, with which we want to create this relation. So <clears throat> first will be the field from the table where you're performing the query, which is requested for. The second field will be from the parent table, which is the caller ID. Let's submit this. All right. Now let's go to the incidents. Let's look for the incidents where the caller is system administrator. For example, the first incident in our list. Now we do not have a related list which displays the requests. So let's try to configure them on our form. Here is our related list requests by same caller. Let's save it and we can see our requests which is created by system administrator. Thank you. Thanks, Mohit. Now here's the cool part. You're not just limited to linking those fields. Scripting relationships can also include dynamic conditions to make those results more relevant. You wanna only see high priority requests, filter by priority. Need to keep it relevant to the same assignment group? Match the group right in your query. Don't want all the noise of a bunch of old tickets? Limit it to just open ones. You can shape the related list exactly how you need it. One quick word of warning though, scripted relationships can be expensive if you're not careful. Remember, every related list runs a query. If you leave them wide open on a busy table, like an incident table, your users are gonna feel it. Best practice, keep your queries narrow, stick to index fields like caller or state or a custom index field, and test your ad query in a background script first before you make it live. That way you'll know exactly how it performs before your users do. So that's scripted relationships, plus a few tips to help you make them more useful and efficient. Big thanks again to Mohit for showing us the foundation. And if you've got a tip or trick that you think belongs in Did You Know, reach out. I would absolutely love to feature more community voices in this video series. We'll see you next time. <laughs>